Welcome to the Path Podcast, where we will travel the lives of some bold women, from dreams to detours to destiny. She did not choose this path. This path chose her. This is the Path Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, Path listeners, to the Path Podcast, the vibe of God through life. It's your sister, your motivator, your confidence builder, the one who believes that purpose is bigger than obstacles. And today is no exception. As we continue this year of being healed and free, I want us to understand that there is something I've learned over the few year, past few years, that nutrition and fitness plays a huge part in our mental stability. They all go hand in hand, right? I read in an article that exercise stimulates brain development and reduces stress levels. It's not just about the bodies, ladies, although we want that on point as well. Trust and believe. I'm a witness of that. We have to admit it. We, um, because of all the things that we're going through, we look at social media. Wellness looks perfect on social media. But in our real lives, it's different. It's a new year, and most of us see the time to reset and restart anew. It's not making New Year's resolutions anymore for me. I try to learn to plan and grow and move into the next level. New Year's resolutions fail if we fail to plan and we don't have to wait until January 1st. Like I said in one of my previous episodes, it's all about making a decision. And I heard my guest who I'm about to introduce say the same thing. She said, they won't, there won't be a perfect time to start. No, she said there won't be a right time to start. It all starts with a decision. She also stepped on my toes when I saw another one of her posts. She said, girl, remember when you said you were going to focus on health? New year, new me. She said, how about a new year, healthier me? She also said, you said you were going to go to the gym on January 1st. She said, that's a lie. And when she said that, I just fell out because I'm like, yeah, that, that was me always in the, in the past, not always uh, saying I was going to do one thing and not and doing the total opposite. Let me introduce my guest, who is none other than Sarah Jane McInjola. Welcome, Sarah. Did I get it right? Please correct me right now on the air. You got it right. You got it right, Miss <laughs> Macanjola. Yes, ma'am. You got Macanjola. it. Macanjola. Macanjola. Sarah um, is also the owner and founder of Sarah Jane Fitness. So, Sarah, thank you for coming in. Um, today, we're going to talk about getting our fitness and nutrition right. Um, I was intrigued when I heard your story. So, first, let's start out by telling me a little bit about Sarah Jane Fitness. Oh, well, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Arlene, for having me on this amazing, amazing platform. I'm so honored to be on here. Uh, a little bit about Sarah Jane and Sarah Jane Fitness. Well, Sarah Jane Fitness, uh, LLC, we are a fitness and nutrition solution for women executives, women leaders, anybody, any woman that's a boss, you know what I'm saying? Yes. At any, at any Mothers level. are a boss too, what, right? You, huh? Mothers are a boss also, right? Mothers are a boss too. That's the whole job, but in and of yeah. itself, amen. So that need that need that doesn't get enough. Uh, exactly. Pay. So um, any any woman that I can that, uh, that consider themselves, excuse me, a boss, we we uh, help them create and de design and maintain a healthier lifestyle by giving them the resources and the recipes they need to thrive on the go. Um, and so this solution includes nutrition coaching, fitness training, whatever you need to help make fitness and nutrition a happy, healthier, natural part of your lifestyle. That's what um, Sarah Jane Fitness does. Now, as for Sarah Jane. Yeah. Sarah Jane, oh goodness, I am a, uh, oh, where do I start? <laughs> I love, I am very chill, very laid back. I, I love to just dance and have fun. I love, I love to live life um, to the, to on my own terms, right? You know, yes. and trying to break, break free of that mold of what do people think of who I am? If I mm -hmm. present myself as a confident, loving human being, I believe that I can live my own life and people who, you know, want to kick it and want to hang out will be naturally drawn to me. So um, I love to eat. I love to watch TV. I love to sleep. Um, I, I like to do all the normal stuff everyone else loves to do. Um, um, I also love movies, man. I'm a movie buff. I can sit at yes. home and, and watch movies. That's my idea of a fun. I'm a, believe it or not, I'm a introverted extra. I'm an extroverted introvert. Excuse me. You're kidding. It on the person. Yeah. No, many people don't believe it. I'm a, I'm very introverted. I have an extroverted personality, but I'm very introverted. 
But you know what? I understand that statement more now than ever because I'm a very extroverted person, but I think I'm living like an introverted person somewhat today, but I'm very, my daughter used to always say, I used to always tell her, if it's a rock in it, a talk, I'll talk to it because I'm just that one who loves people. I'm a lover of getting to know people. I'm a lover of stories. Uh, that's one reason why I started this podcast because I wanted people to share their stories and how they came through certain things in their lives, just to let everybody know that, you know, they're not alone in whatever their journeys are and what they're going through. So thank you for, again, for coming on. And everyone, let me tell you, she didn't give all of her credentials that uh, we will go into because as we talk, you will understand where she's coming from, the certification she has. She's um, a certified nutritional coach, uh, a certified personal trainer. So sometimes, even though we talk about ourselves, we, we, we fail to mention some of the things that we've accomplished, but you know, we've accomplished those things. So I'll brag on her if she's not going to put it all out there herself, because you see some of the things that she's started her own sign as she the founder of Sarah Jane Fitness LLC, like she said, and she's doing so much more, but we're getting to all of that throughout the podcast. Because the other thing I want to, um, where I like to start sometimes, Sarah, is finding out from my guests. Now, everyone out there, she is uh, a beautiful young lady. I still like to go into that first story of uh, telling me a little bit about the younger Sarah. Tell me what were your hopes and dreams for yourself if it's doing something different than you're doing today? Completely different. Oh my goodness. My <laughs> hopes and dreams of myself. Um, before I ever got into the fitness industry, which by the way, I was pushed into purpose with that. I yeah. was, you know, I've always been business minded. I've always been focused and very intentional um, in management and, and marketing. I, I, if you've seen my uh, how I interact online. And so I thought, you know, I thought I wanted to be, I just wanted to be in corporate America, believe it or not. Like I was like, I was like, I'm going to be, I'm going to break the glass ceiling. Yes. I'm going to be somebody's mid-level manager, marketing CMO, CEO. Mm -hmm. So I just, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't, well, I wasn't, let me not say that. I wasn't going into entrepreneurship, but I knew uh -huh. I wanted to be in mid-level, upper level management. And I knew, yeah. I, I thought, excuse me, I thought it was going to be through corporate America. So yeah. my background is actually in marketing and management. I have an MBA mm -hmm. in marketing. I have a, a, a double degree in marketing and management, a, a undergrad degree. And so I've always been in different industries, just doing mm -hmm. marketing, sales, you know, just appealing to the customer journey, the story. So that was my background. That is my background. And yeah. I thought my career was going to go into that. And it was for a little bit after college for a couple of years in corporate industry. But after that, um, yeah, yeah, that I'm, I'm definitely no, not, no longer in that industry anymore. You know what's interesting about that? Because if you ever, anyone out there, if you listen to the uh, beginning of my podcast in the, in the intro, the intro says she didn't choose this path. This path chose her. So the path right. you're taking now, it, it chose you. You didn't it expect you. it to come this, to this level. Like you said, you were pushed into purpose. So when you said that you were pushed into purpose, Tell me what you're talking about, because I know your story as I looked online and everyone, I, I, we're going to share all of her social media um, platforms and how do you connect with her, all she has going on, how she can help you as she was pushed into this purpose. Tell us when you said you were pushed into purpose. Um, what does that mean? So when I was pushed into purpose, my story, and I'll briefly tell it, you know, I don't want to steal your thunder if you have <laughs> a way you want to uh, do the trajectory of the show, yes. but my story, um, you know, I started, you know, wanting to just look like most women, just lose weight yes. and look better and feel better. And for me, it started a lot with weight. And, and, and like most women, I was weight driven. I was about 200, almost 230 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and for just to give you guys reference, I'm 5'11", 5'11 and three quarters, had team tall lady, amen. Um, yes. Shout out to the tall women out there. I'm 5'11 and three quarters. I've never played basketball, never played volleyball. I'm not an athlete. Um, believe it or not, not model anything. I was just a bigger girl and yes. so my I carried weight okay to most people I didn't look big but I felt big and I I, I saw what I, I didn't like what I saw in the mirror 
So I mm-hmm. decided, you know what, look, look, let me get my life together. Um, I, I'm tired of not, you know, hiding myself under big clothes. I'm tired of not sharing my pictures. So yeah. let me start eating better and working out. And this was back in 2013, 2014. And to be honest, I knew nothing about fitness. I knew nothing about weight loss. I knew nothing about nothing. I just knew I didn't want to be big no more. And yeah. um, that was the terminal. That was the mindset and the terminology I used to speak to myself. So I just started exercising, eating better. Um, and, and when I not eating better, eating, putting myself on a diet, excuse me, yes. on a, a diet I do not recommend as a nutritionist uh, now, yes. a nutrition coach. And I lost 32 pounds in three months Mm. just from changing what I eat. Mm -hmm. And back then what I considered exercising was just, uh, you know, going on the treadmill a couple of times a day and in three months, I lost 32 pounds. I, Mm -hmm. I I finally hit, you know, that, that big goal. Yay. But then I couldn't break under 200. I'm still chasing numbers. Like most women, like, man, I got to get under 200. And so I plateaued because I didn't know anything. I was just yes. eating 1200 calories a day. Don't recommend. And uh-huh. I was just um, uh, running. And so yeah. eventually I said, you know, what? I need to get some help. I got to invest in myself. I, what got me to this point is not going to get me to my next level. Let me go get to somebody who knows what they talking about. Cause uh, yes. you know, I gonna have to invest. And so I, mm-hmm. I, I looked up some trainers um, they started, they started in the CrossFit field that completely changed the game mm-hmm. for me, changed my life. I lost an additional 35 pounds. I learned how to eat better, like an actual human eat, like enjoy food. I started working out strength training. My body started changing. Like I was getting muscles. I didn't know who I was becoming, but I loved yeah. it. And it was amazing. It was an amazing journey. It taught me so much about self-discipline, self-confidence, and more importantly, mm-hmm. just being committed to the journey outside of the weight. It's like, this is, you're becoming better and you like it and people are encouraged by it. So Mm -hmm. that's a little bit of my story of how I got into the fitness industry. That in and of itself, I started uh, competing and coaching in CrossFit. Well, I started competing in CrossFit. I got really really good. Uh Yeah. my, My coaches saw me. And they was like, you're, you, you're very dedicated. You, you're here all the time and you come in and you stay late. You know, how about you start competing? And so I started competing. I got Mm -hmm. really good at it, but then I realized it took the fun out of working out and I didn't want to compete, but I love coaching. I love oh, coaching wow. others. I love encouraging other women, especially to lift heavy and just be bad A uh, mm-hmm. in the gym. And so um, I, I stopped coaching, stopped competing, started coaching. And that was the start of my fitness journey to, to what it is today. Wonderful. That's a lot right there. Yeah. And, and let me tell you, as let me tell you, well, all of us, because I don't know what woman, and I know it's a few, but in America and and in the world in general, we all struggle somewhat with that wanting that I don't care if it's five pounds off and 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 getting it off. And yeah. it's not easy five versus 30 versus uh upwards and higher numbers. But I love the fact where you said you started um. You, you, well, no, let me go back and ask this question. When you made that decision, because of course, everyone we know, it starts with a decision. When you made that decision, was that the first time you really felt like you had you tried dieting or I'm going to say dieting at the time when you first did it that way? Because we all think it's dieting, but like you said, it's not that. But when you first did it, was that the first time you tried it or did you, um, it was like a second, third time attempt to it? That's a great question. I've never been asked that. And like many women, I always say I identify with us because I was in that position. I yeah. tried many things. I just wasn't serious those other times. It was yeah. the time when I looked in the mirror and I and like people, I went to Italy and I took so many pictures. I had a, I spent six weeks in Italy. Yeah. I didn't want to, I didn't want to share none of the pictures that yeah. came when I came back because I realized how you know you 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 in Italy, you eating bread and gelato, drinking wine yeah. all day, six weeks. I didn't I didn't put on some weight. So when I came back and was like, people, let me see your pictures. I look, I sw- I look like I swelled up. I was like, I don't want to show nobody them pictures. So my why got deeper. So no, to answer yeah. your question, it wasn't my first time. But when I made the decision, it was the first time I was serious and had a, a why behind it. Exactly. And let me tell you, I'm not sure if um, I saw some pictures you posted on Instagram, your before and after, and you were saying when you went on a trip and you didn't like your pictures when I was just um, doing some of my research. And, and, and like she said, she's 5'11". So to some of us, it's like, yeah, she don't look big, but you know, my thing is big. It's only what you feel within yourself. It's what right. your um, impression of what you want to look like matters. It what's mattered to you first over anybody else and what we see, but she still looked beautiful then. But I so get it because I understand that, that we have to feel good about ourselves. Um, And and so that makes sense because 
I was wondering if you just got it right that first time. And so that's why I wanted to ask that. What do you think really just changed? What kind of click? What, what felt like the difference to you? This time around, the difference was, and again, excuse my language. Please. I'm not cursing. I'm just saying. This no, time, the difference was, um, and, I, and I said, I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be big no more. And that's I don't your recommend truth. I don't, your that truth. was that that exactly. And then that's how I said it sounds terrible, yes. but I had come to the realization this this ain't it. You know, this that's what we say nowadays. This ain't it. I, mm-hmm. I wasn't saying it back then. I was very, very self-conscious. Yeah. Let me what what people see, think, and see about me today, it wasn't always like this. I was very self-conscious. I stayed in the back, played in the background. You mm-hmm. I didn't want to want people, you know, to see me or talk to me that much and stuff like that. So I had to, I, you know, I had to come to the realization, yeah. I don't want to, I don't like this no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the big girl on the beach. I I had a trip yes. and here was my motivation. My next trip, because remember I told you I spent six weeks in Italy. Yes. My next trip was going to be a spring break trip uh, to uh, Panama City Beach with some of my friends in college. Mm-hmm. And I said to myself, I will not be the big girl in my group. I don't want to be the big girl on the on the beach. And I said uh-huh. that to myself. Okay. So let me start doing the work now mm-hmm. because I want to feel confident in a bathing suit on the beach with my friends and not feel like I got to cover up and stuff. And again, mm-hmm. I say this respectfully because I know that there are women that of yes. varying degrees and heights and they see themselves differently. So I'm more sensitive now than I was back then. It's the way you felt, you felt at the time. So I truly understand that. So thank you for sharing that because it it is a, it is a true statement to understand where you were to where you are today, because I love for people to see, you know, they have to understand that because if they see you today, they'll never feel like you went through that in the past. Come on. You know, that's a, everybody always see your day today and it's like no she had a journey up until the lady you will see that's rocking I think you can any any look I you know I am so I told every, her everyone especially since she's done marketing so she has that presence to me and she is born to do that as well I love the fact that you're a teacher too and a coach and 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 a, you make it so simple to everyone and I've heard a few of your clients even say the same thing to jump just one point where one of your clients even said that she felt like it was, um, she was heard and, and, and you were, you made her feel like you held her hand and how you hold her hand, you held her hand through this, that one-on-one. And you can tell it's somebody who has gone through this journey, who understands how a person feels to understand what they need as they go through this, because it's not easy. It's not easy. If so, we all would be uh, in tip top shape today and walking that, that out, if that's what we choose to do. So I appreciate that story. So tell me this, when you, um, how did you, or did you feel like you, um, after you had the training with the, uh, and, and dropped the other 30 some pounds, started doing the coaching and teaching, um, did not be so obsessive over it, or, or, or do you consider, not to say they're being obsessive over it, but did you feel like you had to change your mind to say, I'm going to, I may go back after starting eating maybe something that you love because you're teaching us how to eat and we can eat almost everything, but still not overdo it where we feel like we're going to, because some of us, okay, let me speak on Arlene. I have been successful with dropping weight and then I'll eat potato chips is my weakness, eat potato chips. And then in the past, I've done better with it now, but where I would just do it. And if I mess up that one day, I'm, I'm, I feel like I should mess up the next day and then the next day. And it's like, okay, I've already messed up. I've gained five extra pounds. So why not? And it's hard to get the mind back to say, okay, no, Arlene, you can eat the chips that one day, but just let it go. You don't need, don't do it every day. You may tell me not to eat them. I don't know, but just go back to what you were doing, uh, which was a somewhat healthier way of eating the majority of the time. So how do you help your clients who to know that they can have that one snack, but then just don't overdo it. What do you do with your clients? And let me say to help them. Everything you said, I like is exactly the reason why um, things go so well with my clients. It's uh, yeah. just showing them because like I said, and like you've said, I've been there, but um, yeah, you, you mentioned something. If you don't mind, if I, if I backtrack before I answer your question. Oh, please. You mentioned, um, oh, crap. I ate, ate it one day and um, I messed up that one day and I did it the next day and I did it the next day. Then by now I didn't gain five pounds. I just forget it, you know, paraphrasing. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. is one of the reasons why 
designing and maintaining maintaining a healthier lifestyle is one of the solutions that Sarah Jane Fitness does. Is because it's like, mm-hmm. okay, who told you you couldn't have it? Like, who told you couldn't have that cookie or or, or yeah. a bag? Or, or, or I'm not a bag, but like a couple cookies. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. let's be for real. We know we can't eat cookies every day and expect to see every the scale day. to change. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna sit up here, yeah, right? Yeah. But I truly believe, you know, when it comes to good, you know, a cheat meal and cheat days, that stuff don't work. I've been there. I've done that. Like I said, I was, Mm -hmm. I was a, I was a CrossFit competitor. I had coaches doing my meal plans and stuff. I had to eat strict. That doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. You feel deprived. You feel unmotivated. You feel annoyed. You just want something, right? And Mm -hmm. so if I could Mm -hmm. tell you, if I could say, hey, Arlene, you know what? If you want some cookies or if you want some popcorn and wine to watch during the game on Thursday night, which, you know, Mm -hmm. go ahead and do that. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Like don't do it every night, but go ahead and do that. So you don't feel deprived because here's what happened when we feel deprived, then we feel like, you know, the moment we do something stuff in the hit the fan, I didn't just let 15 days of progress go. And it's like, no, first of all, it takes about 3,500 calories to lose that one pound. So you didn't even have that nowhere near that. And so the education behind it of, of what it means to start eating better uh-huh. It's what many of us don't really understand that, you know, yes, you want discipline. Yes, you want to stay away from it or remove it. I always say reduce or remove, replace. I always yes. use one of those R words. But if you feel like, okay, let me just, uh, there's no such thing as cheat day for me. There's no mm-hmm. such a cheat deal, cheat deal for me. So I can't teach that. So let me say, ha- have what you want. Ha- give yourself yes. the grace to, mm-hmm. you know, okay, have it. But also come back with some discipline, right? These are biblical things. Like we're we're, we're establishing discipline, but we're also giving ourselves grace as well in this process. Because if you could have figured it out and stopped cold turkey, you would have, and you probably wouldn't need help. Exactly. Period, right? (laughs) Period. Period. (laughs) It is so true. So so that all makes sense to me because I even heard somebody says, um, stop looking at your body and start living in it. And, Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that was good, wasn't I like it? That. And yeah, this is stop looking at your body and start living in it because that is something that we are all uh, are failing to do. Yes, and 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 enjoying that part of us and feeling that confidence, like you said. So, um, tell me this: here. What do you say to the people who say that eating healthy is expensive? <laughs> you get to eating healthy is expensive, and so is trips to the doctor. <laughs> so is medication. So is, you know, spending time for days on end in the hospital um, or the burden your family has to take. Let's not, let's not even talk about the financial, the emotional tax, you know, with, that comes with it. Mm-hmm. I, um, I, I just did a challenge where in my body work a couple of weeks ago where I was teaching mm-hmm. women just before we, before we get into the body and the health. But the body and, yes. and then the work of eating and nutrition. Let's talk about how your unhealthy habits affects your loved ones, your spouse, mm-hmm. your children, your mother, your sister. It affects them too, right? Whether you realize it or not, um, you know, the, the discomfort, the conversations, how you show up for them mm-hmm. or how they uh, uh, interact around you is mm-hmm. it affects them. So if you believe it's too expensive, you don't, do you not feel you worth it? It, it, are you saying the more organic stuff you, is that stuff is worth more than you are the one body that you have that God has given you? Exactly. It's all perspective. Something is going to cost. Either you're going to pay um, pre- pro- proactively or you're going to pay reactively. I, exactly. I would recommend you pay proactively so that way you get to choose the path, the path yes. you go down. You that <laughs> because if you don't, you're going to end up in a space where now I have to pay and it's not the stuff I want to, and it's going to cost me more. And it's not really serving me the way it should. It's just reactively responding to the way, um, I, the, to the, the decisions I made, excuse me. Exactly. Because it, it, it marvels me that people still think that is a, uh, a, a good comeback eating health, eating healthy is expensive. Right. And, and I saw like one of your posts again too, with everything you just said, and you said, so is that designer bag you carrying? And, and, you know, a lot of us, uh, what girl doesn't love an, a designer bag. So, you know, she broke it down easily. The main part is our health and going to the doctors and, and how it affects our family. So that is so on point. And that's why I know I've been more intentional. I love to say not getting older, I'm just maturing more. <laughs> and as I mature more, that that's why I'm more, um, and, I'm, and I have a great group of friends that are really kind of health conscious as well, as we all mature in my group. And so, you know, I'm really, and, and like you say, I love the way I feel and look, even I drop five pounds, you can't tell me I'm not that runway model somewhat sometimes, you know? <laughs> 
and, and it's that, you know, let me tell her, tell you everyone, I know everything starts with the mind. I'm that person who always talks positive to myself. I'm a positive talking person and that, and I, I motivate myself when no one else is, will. And when I do feel down, I return that, that conversation around always to encourage myself yeah. because that, you know, you have to encourage yourself because no one else will if you don't start. But not saying I've never been through that place where I didn't have to keep talking to myself to encourage myself. So, but that, that was a great point in how you um, said that. And you referenced in your, tw- well, one of the programs you have, Tell us about it because you were, you were alluding to it a little bit. Uh, the 21 day uh, fitness uh, boot camp that you have. So is that something when you start that, tell us a little bit about that, that like the structure of it or when your clients coming in and something I heard, I don't know if you still, I don't want to keep going, but I think you said that you only deal with 21 uh, clients at a time. I don't know if that's changed since I've read some of your things, but tell us about it and, and how you deal with it when your client's coming in. Yeah, so 21, the 20, Fitting and Fitness 21 Day Boot Camp, it's like you said, one of the services that I offer, but Fitting and Fitness is a brand. It's a movement. It's a way of life. Like, like I said, most of us, are Mm -hmm. modern day women. We're not at home or for the relative Mm -hmm. for the most part. So we got to find a way to fit fitness into our schedule. And so fitting and fitness brings fitness to you. It's fitness at your fingertips. What we do is we show you, you know, we we plan it all out. I understand you ain't got time to look up the recipe and go shop for it and go cook it and then come home and then figure out how to do it. So all the Mm -hmm. back end hard, heavy lifting is done Mm -hmm. for you, but it's all on your app. Everything is available on your fingertips. Oh, so it's really? it's a 21 day program of of meals of, of recipes and meals uh, an entire schedule. What I did is I created a schedule for you and say, hey mm-hmm. Arlene, this is what I want you to eat at this time. This is what I want mm-hmm. you to drink at this time. This is what I want mm-hmm. you to work out at this time. More importantly, when you get up in the morning, this is what I want you to do. It is literally a schedule, and all you have to do is follow it. Many of us, yes. most of us women um, that are doing that have been you know are working, um, we mm-hmm. know how to follow schedule. You give us a plan, we can do yeah. it. We can execute it. Mm-hmm. So it's the same way. It's just making a simpler way of taking fitness and nutrition and saying, here, I'm going to tell you exactly what to eat, exactly what mm-hmm. to do over the next 21 days. You're going to look better. You're going to feel mm-hmm. great. You're going to be, and yes, you're going to lose weight um, because you are eating more of the things you need and less of the things you don't. So I take out the guesswork of trying to figure out how to eat better and how to work out. I tell you exactly what I want you to do. I show you what mm-hmm. I want you to do. And more importantly, the accountability piece. So that weekly, how, who are you checking in with? Who's telling you, okay. Arlene? Um, I didn't see you checked in on yesterday's, uh, on the mm-hmm. app yesterday. What happened? Oh, even mm-hmm. like, oh girl, mm-hmm. I was with the kids. You know, I was busy, but don't worry, I'm on it. I, I'm following the schedule I'm eating. So that accountability piece is what many of us are missing because fitness isn't on the forefront of our mind yet exactly. and until it's there my job is to make sure that it's simple for you it's easier it's convenient and yes you'll get some results you're like oh snap get some I, I i know i can eat 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 more and work yes. out and still lose weight if i did it a very holistic natural way of course and, and what i love that you just said what you do is you're trying to do it for the busy the busy woman, yes. the, the one, let me tell you, everyone, if that's something we all, most of us understand is that we need that because it's always, we need to be intentional about what we do fit into our times because we, we should not put something above our nutrition and our fitness. And, and like I was talking to someone else yesterday about our mental stability, you know, even talking to someone and, and, and a nutrition and fitness coach is like therapy also. So, you know, having those things, putting those things first in our lives a lot with our families, along with our business and our careers, it, it is key. And I'm glad you, you're, you're, you're tailoring, you try to tailor it that way because you know, women are busy. We are busy creatures and, and, and we're running households and we're running businesses and, and doing all of those things. So we need that and that accountability partner to hold us to our feet when we're doing it. So um, I want to go before we continue into some of that, you, you mentioned something no, I, I want to hold that part. Let me finish with the fitness. So when you do the uh, the twenty one um, fitness uh, boot camp, do you do you is it virtual? We can do it all virtual. It's at our fingertips, like you said, because uh, you're. I know you're in Dallas, and like with me, I'm in Georgia. So how can uh, Sarah uh, Jane Fitness help Arlene? 
Yes. So it is completely virtual. Um, mm-hmm. Everything, like I said, fitness at your fingertips. So it's on your app, the, the, mm-hmm. the meals, the workout, everything you need for a day to day. So you're on your phone anyway. My job is just okay. to get in on your phone. Like, all right, well, let me throw some fitness and nutrition on there. And then during yeah. the week on Sunday, the beginning of the week, it's like, all right, before we start the week, Arlene, you about to travel? You, you got, you got a conference mm-hmm. you're going to, you speak it as what, what do you got going on so that we can tailor it so that it mm-hmm. still fits you even as you're going on the go like I said I want you to be thriving on the go like okay yes there I do have I do got a a conference in Philly this week so I may not be able to do all the meals and stuff okay Mm -hmm. cool let's talk about it what's what what you doing in Philly what's your schedule so it's very very um personal which I believe uh Mm -hmm. interpersonal which is what I uh my clients love about it because it's like Yes. It's not the same. It's not the same for everybody. Your schedule, my yes. schedule is going to be different, but at the same time, we still need stability. We still need accountability. Exactly. So it is 100% virtual, whether you're in uh, Georgia or whether you are in Germany, you know, I'm going to speak that exactly. whether you're in Georgia or Germany, it works. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine you're not there already, but okay. <laughs> we, we will see. <laughs> hey, it's coming. That's what I always say. It's coming. It's coming. But yeah. let, let me tell you, I want to go back even to your, when you, go back into your personal story when you lost the weight. Tell me, how long did it take you to uh, reach what you, the level where you felt like you, I know you were competing and all, but when you reached that level, how long did it take you to do it? It was just about a year and a half, about a a little under that. Um, from, From start to finish, the entire process of weight loss, like I said, the first three months and then a couple months later. So that was about a nine, six to nine month period. Um, yes. But when I felt fairly, fairly, really comfortable, it was at the one year, a year and few change. I was like, that's when I saw my body changing. And that's when it became like, oh, I'm here. I ain't going back. But the exactly. process of losing the weight was because I was so dedicated to it. Mm-hmm. It was about a, oh, about, I rounded off to about nine month period. About nine months. Oh, that's good. That's good. So the, your, the, the 21 fitness and, and any other things you uh, have coming up, you can talk about. How long uh, do you start it every um, three, how many months? How, how often is it going throughout the year? I'm sure it, sh- it should be constant. I know it's a daily thing. It's your business, but, <laughs> but how often does it? Because I know you got one coming up and I think by the time this episode airs, it may be in the middle of it or to the end of it. And I want to know so women can know that there's another one coming and to follow, just follow you, of course, on all your social media there, get it. But how often do you offer it? Um, that is a great question. So it airs, it airs. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> airs. Uh, it runs um, about every 21 days, so about once a month. Oh. And so in that mm-hmm. month, if you, uh, there's going to be a week period to where it mm-hmm. you break to, you know, get ready on board the next um, few uh, women that are coming in. So it is constantly going or, or constantly yeah. occurring. So there's always an opportunity. And like you said, if you catch it in the middle and you talk to me, well, it's like, all right, well, we'll get you on the next one or figure out what is your next trajectory in the meantime? What can we do to keep you focused, keep you on track, still have fitness at your fingertips before you can still get into the fullness of the program. So there's a, even a waiting period, there's still something that can be done. Yes. Okay, great, great. Now, this is the one thing I wanted to ask you that I heard um, on your page where you told me, Uh where you were telling the audience that, (laughs) I don't know if it's the same thing, where you had this new experience where you said you you normally will sit back and hide things, but you came out and you you gave a post telling us about something you just, I don't know how long ago you learned that you did an allergy test Uh where... You, you, and you said you don't like saying it, but it's, it's due to um, an autoimmune, um, I don't want to call it a disease, uh, yeah. something deal- that you're dealing with. But what I, what I, why I brought this up is because I wanted people to see your, your frame of thinking and how if they go back and look at that post, you were transparent about it and, and, and you don't go have to go into to all the details of it. But some of the things I love how you said, um, the Lord told you it's not a life threatening. It's not life threatening. It's, it's life, life changing. changing. Yeah. The same way you had to make that decision when it came to making a decision to change your, uh, the way you ate, you would eat and, and, and fitness. You made a decision, the same thing. Cause you're such a driven person. You can tell you have goals and with your doctor, you could tell you were setting that you were sitting there with the right mindset. You made goals, but it had to change everything you had been trained up until that point and how you were eating, even though you were eating fine because you were already on your 
successful way of eating and working out and exercising, being a trainer, but you had to still make some changes. And so that kind of put a, I don't want to say a monkey wrench into your plans, but how you were eating. So tell me what it did for you when you found that out. It did. You know what? And I remember that I was, you know, you, you hear these things. Well, I heard it and I'm like, but I eat right and work out. No, what are you trying to tell me? Like, what I've been yeah. eating these things my entire life. And he's like, yeah, this didn't form two months ago. And he made it quite clear. Like this, Sarah, mm -hmm. it's nothing you did in the last 10 days. It's nothing you did in the last year. This ain't even COVID related. This has been an ongoing thing for, you know, a duration of your life. Mm -hmm. And so yes. now it's showing up. He said the symptoms are showing up. It's like, you know, he gave the example. I don't know if I said it in the video, but the example he gave is like, if you were to start scratching your arm right now, right? Yes. And just put a, put your he nail to your arm. Um, you wouldn't feel any, you wouldn't see any uh, uh, issues with it. But if you did yes. that all day, every day for, you know, a couple of years now, eventually that skin is going to start to bleed. And that's what was happening yes. with me. Um, yes. and, and so just, it, I, I don't mind, I'll be transparent. I was having, you know, blood in my stool and, and it wasn't normal mm -hmm. and I didn't have hemorrhoids or anything. And he's like, well, yeah, now it's starting to show. It's starting to let you know that, you know, it is, kind of going into your it could potentially be colon issues and I was like oh snap hold on wait what happened Stop. You know? yeah. so I was like when he told me all the things I was allergic to it was like eight things corn rice wheat yeah. tomatoes soy eggs uh that's seven right now I'm missing one I can't peanuts carrots I got all carrots peanuts yeah. and carrots, peanuts peanuts and carrots. Yeah. I'm like you can't see me. I got to talk. I was like, are you, um, you, what, I'm what? I was like, that's pretty much anything. And he's like, yeah. I know you're, you know, and, and you can't have wine. You can't have alcohol. I was like, oh no, I'm done. I can't do this. You know, I, I, I let me, let me, I was sounding very optimistic, you know, telling yeah. the story later because when I heard it, I was very irritated and anxious at the same time. I was like, how could this happen? Well, how did I miss this? Like many people. Yeah. Um, but he was like, you know, don't worry. You, you know, if you go to the gastro, um, the GI tract, the GI doctor, they're going to want to put you on autoimmune disease suppressants. He said, I yeah. want you to just change the way you're eating again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, again, I thought I was like, you telling me I got to change everything, yeah. like everything. And I'm like eating better, but you felt like what are you doing, guys? <laughs> well, like what about to say? And I was, I was very, I was like, this can't be it. But when I, when I heard, mm -hmm. when I heard the Lord say to me, you know, this isn't life threatening. This is like, you know, you hear autoimmune disease. I was like, hold on, this yeah. is life changing. And and I'm like, okay, it, it gave me the peace I needed at that in yes. that moment because I was so filled with so much like irritation of this can't be it. I've already, like, I, I I live this life, I teach it, and there's no way I cannot mm -hmm. share a part of something that is still a part of my journey. So. It is a long, and he was letting me know, the doctor, that this is a long time yeah. recovery process. You, there is no going back. You know, he's like, you, yeah. if you don't keep this up, then it'll be a little bit harder for you. So, um, mm -hmm. to answer your question, and I believe hopefully I am answering it, it was yes. a very challenging, you know, thing, and still is. Let me be real. Hope, let me. It mm -hmm. is very challenging, and I'm. I, I went to the doctor for a checkup uh, on Thursday, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot better. I still Wonderful. have a ways to go. Uh, there's mm -hmm. there's the things that I I didn't do, like increasing certain vitamins and stuff like that. He's like, I need you to do more of this and stuff. So we mm -hmm. we all have our struggles, and especially a lifestyle change. He's like, he kept responding, yes. re reminding me. He's like, Sarah, this is a this is your new lifestyle. I know you mm -hmm. still you're thinking like, okay, let me just do what I got to do to get out of it. He's like, you're gonna have to adopt this, and so yes. adopting it and saying, all right. I'm organic. I'm eating more organic foods. I'm 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 taking all of these things out mm -hmm. and replacing it with the more expensive stuff. Yes, child, the stuff that's available at uh, at uh, Sprouts and Whole Foods. I said, yes, I know. I've seen them. So, <laughs> I was like, okay, but um, it, it, I, I'm I'm still adjusting and I'm still working towards it and um, doing better. Thank God. And you know what? And I brought it up because again, I want everybody to always understand that who better again like. Cause there are so many people dealing with that, yeah. you know, and, and being gluten-free and all of the different things that comes yeah. with that, you know, it, it, it takes a person like that who can help you to understand. And like you said, even sometimes eating good, it's just the, how our bodies are made and the genetics of it that causes some things that changes in our, in our lifestyles that we got to, we have to adjust. 
Mm -hmm. We have to move and, and pivot and we have to keep it moving. And that's what I love. And I, and again, I love what you said again to what the Lord gave you peace, that it is not life threatening, it's life changing. And everyone out there, that's the same thing uh, we're saying to you. Well, you know, if we, we're killing ourselves with food, we need to change it regardless. You know, that could be life threatening, to be honest, you know, according to everyone, everybody's made differently. So I, I love the fact that, that you that you're setting the goals and you're, and you're doing the same thing. You started working with your doctors. And like you said, you, you do that same thing with your clients. You, you, you put that same, the same things you were doing in your life, you're doing it with your clients. And that's the kind of person I know I would want to work with and, and want somebody in my corner and someone who is not, you know, transparent in some of the things that they have to go through. So that speaks highly of uh, you caring about what you do, caring about the people, caring about how you um, introduce yourself to the world. And I think women will connect with you in so many ways because of it. And so I just, you know, thank you again for sharing that part. You know, I love that your attitude, your, 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 your um, energy and everything. And I can't wait. And I hope a lot of people out there will connect with you. Tell me what else do you have going on um, that you would like the audience to know and how we should connect and why we should connect with you. Oh, well, I thank you so much for um, just the edification because it's somebody who, uh, <laughs> uh, no, seriously, it's somebody who, you know, just a part of a lot of what I do is faith driven, you know, um, like yes. I said, I was pushed into purpose. And so a lot, mm -hmm. you know, I operate highly in the spiritual gift of ex exhortation, which is encouragement, just encouraging and yes. do other people. So um, when yes. I'm encouraged, it just, it just makes my heart smile because I'm like, oh, is this how it feels? So, uh, so thank you. Um, but for me, what a lot of what I got going on, oh, there's so much happening. And, and this is the year when I brought that post you were talking about to dominate. The Lord told me to dominate, right? Dominate, yeah. he gave me an operation to dominate Dallas. And so I'm going to be a lot more visible. You know, I'm going to be a lot more in the communities and doing stuff um, mm -hmm. to where it's like my, not just my name, uh, my business, but my name, my brand speaks on its own. So yes. you, if you're in the Dallas area, make sure you, you know, you read out you, you, you so that we can stay connected wherever you are but uh, I definitely want to make it be known that you know fitting in fitness you know that is a brand under Sarah Jane Fitness and that is going to continue the 21 date boot camp that's our starting uh, signature um, program yeah. right now but there are other ways you can work with me one on one because I always understand like not many people want to be have you know like I just I just need somebody and I don't really want to be in a group and whatnot. I completely understand. One on one, I call that fitting in fitness gold, because um, you uh -huh. know gold standard. And so um, I've got a I love a, a program rolling out for that. For those that is mm -hmm. like, look, I, I need a little bit more than twenty one days. I need some more time, and and I understand. Uh -huh. Like I said, my process was about you know, six to nine months of weight loss to where it's like, I felt comfortable at, at nine, at month nine. And so I have, you know, a four month program that is rolling out for those that are interested in that. Um, and of oh, course nice. I'm doing stuff in the community. I mentioned at the beginning of this call, I'm, um, at the minute you're getting our talk on five, 11 and three quarters, my heart, um, I love tall women and tall girls. And yes. one of the things I struggled with when I was younger was my height. Not only my height, but really? my chocolate skin. I told you, I, but I wasn't mm -hmm. always this confident. My height, my chocolate yeah. skin, it was just a lot for me to deal with. And so yes. I, it's just more so I've got a brand called Pretty Tall Lady, where it is allowing oh. me to, um, these are women, it's a, a social collaborative network of women mm -hmm. chosen, chosen to stand up with the gift of chosen. height. My guy, my, my, my. My purpose for that is just to remind them, hey, I know what it's like. I was in your position, but, you know, you got to remember God chose you. We all weren't blessed with yes. this. You know, this is a gift yes. in and of itself. And so you got to stand out. You got to stand tall. And so Pretty Tall Lady, um, it's more of, more so of a community that I'm building mm -hmm. and, um, you know, holding brunches and, and seminars and just stuff for us to get together and see other women that are tall. How, how many of us, well, for the tall women out there, that you're the, usually the tallest friend in your group or the tallest person yeah. in your family. And there's only was a tall joke and and you see you know you mm -hmm. probably felt insecure and stuff like that so just bringing love and light to that community is something that I'm proud of and and can't wait to unleash I'm gonna have a a brunch a traveling brunch a traveling event series Wonderful. starting off here in Dallas let me say something to that I was I was in a store about three months ago and a lady walked up me and a lady just started talking and she has a young daughter and her young daughter, she said, is only about, she was only about, she's only about 11. Mm -hmm. I don't know her personally. She's, her daughter's feeling insecure mm -hmm. and she has to shop sometimes different 
um, places because she can't find the, the, the um, clothes for her height, for her age. So she said her daughter was feeling insecure because, you know, people don't mean no harm, but people would say, oh, you're such a big girl. She yes. equates big girl as like, she's huge. She's a, she showed me a picture. She said, she's, she's not big, she's tall. And so when people say that she equates is like, they're saying, you know, I don't want to say the word, but she, again, we use the word fat. It, she thinks that too is what they're saying to her. So I think people need to understand sometimes when they say that to a little child, it makes them feel something like it's a negative thing. And, yes. and she was like, it's not. And it, it, you know, it broke my heart. She even started tearing up because of how her daughter felt about it. I'm glad you shared that because that is a real thing. And I love that uh, pretty tall lady because that is something that needs to be out there more. And it, we just all need that positivity because if anybody try to make it seem like it's something um, or we feel like it's something not as uh, uh, pretty as another uh Side height, whatever. We need that. Everybody needs that because I think those little that little girl I told you about. I wish she could <laughs> see more people in her life that way, and um and and see it as not something negative, but it's a beautiful thing when you when you five eleven. So, so that's something. If you don't mind, um, you and it just brought it to my remembrance about the little girl. So I posted back when I was doing and pretty tall ladies fairly new we launched last yeah. in November yeah and um I, it, on my page is a series of a week where I was just I, I, I took a break from fitness I was like I am going to show you know the 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 beauty and being tall and and even at a young age and so this lady if you don't mind it's a short yeah. comment she commented I posted a video and it was just me you know just be me yeah. just sashaying around um and I was sashaying down the hall and I was in heels and had the, the, the mother because mm -hmm. you mentioned the mother and the daughter she commented Glad I came across this page. I'm 5'9", mm -hmm. and my daughter, 12, um, pushing 5'8 plus. And mm -hmm. she's depressed because oh. she's so tall. And that's all she hears. But mm -hmm. she's so beautiful. Now I can show her your page so my baby can get her confidence back. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> mm -hmm. So when I saw that comment. I just, you know, you know, it was something new. But I was like, I just wanted to play with it. But what I, I, I knew what it was going to do, what I, the intention and to see that, it, um, it, it yeah. So when you said it sealed the deal for you. And, and yeah, like I, I said, did. that lady, I wish I had her number. If I had her number, I would send her to your page because I told her she needs to see other women like her doing that and moving in that fullness of that beauty of a five eleven beautiful woman and, 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 and someone who is not even just playing basketball or just doing yeah. some of the other things that come with that height or a volleyball, like you said, but, oh, I wish I had her number two because yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that because, and, and let me tell you, that makes you know your work. You're doing so many different things. And so everyone out there, you see, it's not just the fitness. It's, it's, it's also, pretty tall lady. So if anyone is out there listening and you have a daughter, niece, cousin, um, a friend's daughter or somebody who needs to see that person, check out Sarah Jane Fitness. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You, we, we, you check, just check her out in general. So tell us, is what else? Because you did have something on your page before we try to wrap up everything. That's called a three-day, um, was it a three-day fitness you, yeah, mind, yeah it's mind body work mind body work. yes so mind body work oh that was the testimonials from that three days mm -hmm. I, I haven't even you know because I'm doing 21 day stuff right now I'll, I'll, I'm scheduled to talk about that but I'll start re recapping that 21 the, the three days the testimonials in three days from women pretty much uh, across the nation, across yes. the U.S., you know, came, we came to a challenge where I said, look, I'm going to show you guys, you know, I'm, I'll be playing with y'all. Yes. I know you ain't going to be in the gym on January 1st. That's because you ain't got no plan, right? So I, what I did was over the three days, I said, look, I'm going to ch target three ears, your mind, the body, and the work, which mm -hmm. is the nutrition. Let's get your mindset right. Yeah. Listen, why are you doing this? What is your why? Because if it's all about weight loss, I promise you, you're going to lose it, but you'll get it right back. Yes. And that's the, many of our issues is not that we don't know how to lose weight. It's that we don't know how to keep it off. Exactly. So that was day one. And day two with the body. So I said, okay, well, let me show you how to write a strength training workout, where a cardio workout. And then I showed them with the help of one of my trainers, um, shout out to Denisha Nicholson. She did an amazing job. Wonderful. Um, 
we uh we we showed them let's sh- let me show you how to plan it out put it in your calendar how to write a good workout so when you go mm-hmm. to the gym you have an effective workout and then we did it together we did an eight minute workout it was awesome yeah and then the third day was the work the, the nutrition yes. what we do in the kitchen matters and so I showed them how to create a custom seven day uh plant-based you know wow. plant, whole food meal plan mm-hmm. and so in that three days it was powerful mm-hmm. I, I'm still receiving emails and texts I mean emails and uh, uh back channels on my uh in my dms about mm-hmm. you know I'm, I'm I, this is one week after and I'm still doing strong thank you so much so it's more so not yeah. a just yes if I can help you with the accountability and showing you through my program but if you if you knew that hey Sarah if you could just show me what to do so I don't have to google it I don't have the time to figure it out that would help too so we just wrap that up yes awesome awesome that's a wonderful thing so is that something you will be offering as well on a regular basis that is done. We do the, it's a free challenge, by the way, it's free. We do it every quarter. So the next time we will do it is in April. Awesome. And everyone, we should be looking forward to that. And if ever you want to tag me in, uh, to some of the posts or whatever, I don't know if you do that, but I'll be looking forward to, cause I'll be following her everyone and, and looking forward to just because I love her energy. She's going to, she's encouraging me too much to go back and put those chips down and do what I need to do again, get back on track, Arlene. But, um, but definitely, um, it's something else you had on there. Is it, it before we wrap up again? Sundays with Sarah. Is that something you still looking to work with? Oh yeah, yes, you know I, I, I look at my research now. I said, hold on, now. <laughs> she like kudos. Yes, Sundays with Sarah. That is coming back. Actually, um, I think that is coming back in the next couple of weeks, and so that'll be once a month. The Sundays with Sarah, and that's free. It's all in the fitting and fitness. Like I said, it's a mid movement. I'm gonna show y'all. Yes. I'm gonna drop little in ways for you to fit fitness into your schedule. And Sundays with Sarah is where I take one of the programs, one of my, I mean, one of the programs, uh-huh. one of my recipes from my programs, and say, hey, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna cook it with you because I'm gonna show you in 30 minutes or less, about 30 minutes or less, mm-hmm. what you can do. And the last Sundays with Sarah, that's exactly what it was. We did, we cooked two meals in 30 minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, they, we did it. I did it on live. So, you know, there's no editing. There's yes. like, hopefully if whatever come out, come out, but it's always good. And, you know, if, if you see here or see something, yeah. but that's what the fun and the joy of it is exactly. transparent. It's real. And I'm showing you how to fit it in even on live. So. On live stuff. So, oh, great. Great. I can't wait to check all of those. So, yeah. Right. Y'all follow me. Y'all see when I start doing promo for fitting up uh, for, for uh, Sundays with Sarah. Great. <laughs> Great, great. So, look, okay. So, let me ask you: that, Is there anything else that I failed to ask you that you would like to share, and and or something that you just want to let the audience know uh, about Sarah Jane Fitness, fitting um, the twenty one day boot camp, whatever you want to share right now, and then then I'll ask you to give all your social media handles. Um, Miss Arlene, I thoroughly, and I'm not just saying this. I really enjoyed this oh. conversation. Like Thank seriously. You. It was so rich and guided. And so I don't have anything to say. Well, you didn't mention this, you know, like, you know, the fitting and fitness boot camp, we do start on January 23rd. But mm-hmm. you, like you mentioned, by the time this airs, we'll probably be midway into it. But don't threat. Hit me up, guys, and then we'll get you on the next one. We do it once a month because it is 21 days. We yes. need a week to prepare for the next one. So, but you did it. I love this. I love this conversation. It was Thank so you. real, so transparent. Even got me tearing up when I was like, oh my gosh, she's talking about, like, when you, when you told her, the story about the the woman and her daughter i was like hold on i got a woman and daughter exactly. who, 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 who you know yes. so the impact means a lot to me so i enjoyed this and the impact means a lot because it means you can tell a person who i love when i connect with people i, I don't believe it's no happenstance i believe it's real god placed me to to you Amen. and and i i see she's a woman of faith she's moving about just doing her business and i when i connect with people i intentionally I, I swipe and, and when, and, and I connect in some way. And when you just felt that from that post, you remember again, like the mother daughter, that's so me. It, it shows your heart. It shows, it shows that this is real to you. It shows that you are serving other women in what God has called you to do. I cannot wait to see all he has for you because her name's going to be, I'm going to say, I remember her when she came on the path podcast. I don't know her, but I know of her. And I <laughs> promise you, you have that. You have it. That's, you know, I am no one. I just believe it. And, and I believe when I see people move that they're, they have a calling and I can't wait to see all that you're going to do. And um, so tell us how we can connect with you or all yes, your social media uh, handles. 
Oh goodness. Thank you so, so much for it. Like, God bless you. Thank, Thank you for you your kind you. words. Like I said, edification is my, it, it's what I do, but when I receive it, it's like, oh, oh yeah, my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but you guys can reach out to me on, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much on all platforms, but we're working on rebranding to make sure it's very similar on each one yes on instagram you know that's primarily where i built a lot of my foundation of my, uh, my brand mm -hmm. uh that is i am sarah jane s-a-r-a-h-j-a-n-e sarah jane i am sarah jane on facebook i do have a business facebook page mm -hmm. um sarah jane fitness one mm -hmm. uh it, you know facebook.com slash sarah jane fitness one get if you could like that that'd be awesome okay. i do post content on there okay. I'm, I'm actually gonna go probably live on there as well well i do have a group in on facebook uh fitting in fitness you can join it it's a free group you know i pour into women there that's where sundays with sarah's hosted there's a slew of things to do on there linkedin sarah jane mac well sarah j mac and jola on linkedin i am on linkedin because i know they're busy working professionals out there so i do connect with you on linkedin and um yeah clubhouse oh Faith mm -hmm. and fitness. Um, that is a that is a that is ministry for me. Okay. And so if you're ever on Clubhouse, um, the Lord has blessed me to where I can, you know, He works through me to a blend faith and fitness together. And so there's always going to be some tangible stuff, some spiritual faith-driven stuff, and some things that you can there's always a nugget you can walk away with. And we're growing strong. Um, I'm very proud of that because that was something that I stepped into in uh 2020. Wow. I mean to last year. Um, that out of COVID, all of this, the Lord told me I had to start speaking up. And, and, and so again, a lot of what you see now is stuff I had to grow into. I'm like, yeah. No, God, I'm behind the scenes. He's like, no, you're not. I think you, you, you're where I tell you are. Exactly. Um, so, um, so I do, uh, faith and fitness on, on clubhouse. You can, I am Sarah Jane is my handle, but mm -hmm. you know, the, the club that I run, I co-steward, excuse me, um, is the faith and fitness house. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. And everyone, all of that will be in the show notes. Trust me. Uh, trust me in. Um, I can't wait to connect with her. I connected with some other ladies from Dallas. So I will uh, uh, try to see if uh, they send you to their page, send them to your page as well. Because I love connecting people because what better when women connect, right? You know, yes. I, I don't like that envy. You know, I love connection. And that's what it's all about. I cannot thank you enough for coming on on here with me and the path listeners. I can't wait to just watch all that you do, like I've said, um, and, and just thank you. Thank you. And today we're going to end the show and I'm going to tell you, do not wait to connect with Sarah. Join her on your journey to a healthier you. Who better to show you it can be done than someone who did it? Sarah overcame an unfortunate relationship with emotional eating, as she said on her page, and body confidence into the fitness guru we're seeing today. Yes, she is a fitness guru. She may not want to say it herself. I'm going to say it for her. Um, go check her out and all the programs. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Um, a positive body image isn't just about believing your body looks good. It's knowing your body is good, mm. regardless of how it looks. We just need to do the work to make it a healthier body. Something I heard Sarah say, she said, sometimes all you need to do is have someone in your corner. Sarah is passionate about teaching everyone the, the keys to maintaining weight loss and achieving body confidence to allow fitness and nutrition to become a natural component of, a living, of living a healthy, healthier purpose-driven life. I know like I've, I told you earlier on the path, I always say she did not choose this path. This path chose her. So this is a purpose-driven life for her. This new walk will take her to another level of being in your corner. That's what life experiences do. If we turn those obstacles into opportunities, there's nothing we can't um, accomplish or succeed at. Again, Sarah, thank you. And everyone, check out her page. I will have that in the show notes. On the in the show notes. Until next time, everyone. Nice talking to you, Sarah. Nice talking to you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and afternoon, and enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for hanging with us. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. So you can stay up on our bi-weekly real, real conversations with these bold women. 
You can follow The Path Podcast on Facebook at The Path Podcast and on Instagram and Twitter at The Path underscore podcast. And if you would like to be a guest on the show or have questions for a future show, you can email us at The Path, the number four, W-A-R-D at gmail.com. That's the path forward at gmail.com. And if you're looking for a speaker or you're in need of a life coach, please reach out to me again at the path forward at gmail.com or at a C K O R L E H at gmail.com. Thank you until next time.